I have approximately 25 charges from various rallies uh, across the province in 2021 and 2020. And Peterborough is the only time I was issued a summons at the event, right? And it is clear that every other time, my, my wall is full of these tickets, they were brought to me by an OPP officer to my residence here in Lanark County. Um, the chief of police, Scott Gilbert in Peterborough, in my objective review of his actions, he intentionally and belligerently tried to provoke a violent situation in yes. Peterborough. And, you know, you can, people can review the, the tapes from that day, um, how uh, he was just would not back down, continued to try to bait the people in the audience into a violent outbreak. The only other time we've seen that uh, in in a peaceful protest, David, in my understanding, was in Ottawa yes. uh, earlier this year, where the police, instead of abiding by their cornerstone and their hallmark to ensure that peaceful assembly remains peaceful and that they are there to protect that civil right of peaceful assembly were there to actually make a peaceful assembly into a violent outburst. Yeah. And, and Randy, they were the ones uh, perpetuating the violence. I mean, whether it was horses trampling on people, my beloved colleague, Alexa Lavoie being shot with some kind of cylinder uh, in her thigh. And thank God it was her thigh and not her head because uh, we might be speaking about her in the past tense. Uh, but you, you know, and that's another thing, Randy, it's this um, idea of there are media that are government approved and there are media non grata, that would be rebel news. The Peterborough Examiner, the photographer there, he won the best spot news photograph uh, for 2021. It was a, uh, and, and by the way, it is a fantastic photo. It's you in full Lord Thunder and Jesus mode, toe-to-toe uh, uh, -to -toe with Chief Gilbert. It's a fantastic photo. But the thing is, Randy, if that was a fisheye lens, you would have seen me and my cameraman, Mocha, uh, right there. We were in the exact same place at the exact same time, covering the exact same thing. This photographer gets a, an award and uh, presumably a cash prize I get a summons. I mean, how do you make sense of this hypocrisy, Randy? Well, listen, the the police chief's actions brought hundreds of people who may have been dispersed through the audience into a very, very tight, closed uh, envelope. And, uh, you know, so he certainly was not concerned about social distancing and um in any spread of the virus because his action brought people even closer together. Um, and, you know, I would also say this, let's not forget, it wasn't just, um, you know, you were t targeted um, because Rebel News is dissenting and opposing uh, or giving air time to people who dissent and oppose about this attack on our civil rights. But the Peterborough Examiner, I did an interview with them that day as well. Mm -hmm. They were in the audience, not just the photographer, but also their journalist yeah. or apparent journalist. <laughs> Why were they not summoned to appear before the justice as well? And let's remember, um, you know, again, a foundation of our law is that it is, it is blind that that it will not be executed or implemented or enforced in a um, in a biased fashion, you know. And and we have that saying: uh, neither prince nor pauper is above or beneath the law. Um, but here we have um, favored outcomes, favoritism being on full display for all of us to see that if you are in agreement with the political agenda, 
the force, the police forces will not charge you for any violation. We're doing the same thing that you and I were doing there, peacefully gathering. We were charged, others were not. What you just saw was an excerpt from my nightly show, The Ezra Levant Show. Every weekday, I do a monologue. Usually, it's about half an hour. Then I interview an interesting guest, and then we read my hate mail or my fan mail, whichever is more fun. It's only available behind a paywall, though. That's how we pay our bills here at Rebel News. We don't take a dime from Justin Trudeau. But the good news is it's only 8 bucks a month, about half the price of Netflix, and in addition to my weekly, sorry, my nightly show, you also get weekly shows from four other friends here at Rebel News. So you're getting 36 shows a month just for eight bucks. I think it's worth it. And even if you're not quite sure, do it anyways, because we rely on viewers like you to keep us free and independent. I promise you I'll never take a dime from Trudeau. Just go to rebelnewsplus.com and click subscribe. Thanks.